Hey everyone, you've been asking me for a makeup tutorial and since my friend Julie is in town, I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. We're about to head out for a photo shoot, so I wanted to show you guys the smoky look that I did for Julie for the shoot. Hope you love it. So Julie has, she has a base on already. I did her foundation and concealer. We used um, Jane Iredale, which is a gluten-free mineral makeup. I used a pressed mineral foundation on Julie as well as the Iredell, Jane Iredell Circle Delete number two for concealer. And I did not do an eyeshadow base because I'm going to be using this NARS um, shadow pencil. And that's actually gonna act as our base. So we're taking this NARS shadow pencil and I'm just actually using a concealer brush. Um, because the bristles are pretty firm and they'll help this pencil to apply well. So I'm just taking this all over the lid right up into the crease. So I'm just sort of lightly blending this up you want a softer look. You don't want it to be too harsh, but you want it to stop right around the crease. It's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna go over it with a shadow that's gonna sort of set this cream. You always want to set a cream with a powder. It's very important for lasting makeup. Does it get all gooey if you only use it'll, cream? Yeah, it'll just, it'll crease like with the little lines on your eyelid and natural oils, it'll just start to crease. So now I'm going to take the pencil and just very lightly go under her lash line. We're not taking it the whole the whole way we're kind of stopping halfway just because um, we don't want it to be too harsh we want to keep our eyes open so I'm just gonna take my little smudge brush and just smudge that out a little and now I'm taking gunmetal which you can't see from the Naked palette. And I'm just gonna do a very sort of light dusting, close your eyes, over this shadow pencil to just sort of set it and make it look a little more blended. And then we're gonna do the same thing under the eye. Smudge it, smoke it out a little bit. And now I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and we're just gonna define her brow bone. And we're gonna blend that sort of down into the smoky blue shadow because really the, the key with a smoky look is making sure that everything's really well blended. You don't want to see any harsh lines and that's really how you'll end up with a, a flawless smoky eye. I'm going to take my Naked Basics 2 palette and I'm using Frisk. And we're gonna warm this look up by just taking this over the, the crease or the, right below her brow, brow bone. And that's gonna just warm that up and make everything blend really nicely together. And that's really gonna soften this look. So this is right where you would really contour, but to keep this 
dramatic look softer. I'm using a, a lighter shade than what's on her lid because if I did a darker shade, it would just make everything a little too dark. Now I'm gonna take Undone, which is the darkest color in the new Naked Palette, oh, sorry. And I'm just gonna shade in the outer V right here to add a little more dimension and depth. I'm gonna take an eye pencil in a black color and just smudge it into her lash line. It's okay, seeing it. Close her eyes. So I'm really just gonna smudge that into her lash line so that her eyes really pop. And then I'm just gonna smudge it a little with my with my brush so it looks soft and keeps that smoky look going. And now we're gonna brighten this look with a little gold pencil. So we're gonna take this in the inner. What the heck? The inner, um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking this gold pencil and I'm just, what is this part of your eye? I don't even know. The teardrop area. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Do you mean tear duct? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your teardrops come from that. Mm -hmm. are, you, are your tear ducts welling up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull this together. I'm sweating. Yeah, me too. Okay. Um, so this like inner... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Whatever this part is of your eye, that's where you want to put this gold pencil. The inner part of your lower lash line. Not to be confused with your waterline, which is actually the inner part of your lower lash line. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is funny. No, not really. And I'm actually going to use this on her lid just in the center the center of her lid and that's just gonna continue to add a little highlight and really sort of soften this look which is pretty dramatic and it's okay if it's not perfect because we are gonna go over it with a little powder and that's gonna really help. Good word. Good word. So now I am taking Half Baked from the Naked 2 palette and we're just gonna go over this gold. To soften this a little. I'm gonna go back with my brush that I used for the blue shadow and just blend into that gold. Now for some mascara, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Mascara, which is gluten-free. 
And while that's drying, I'm just gonna fill in her brows just a touch. We want them to be defined, but not too dramatic because the eyes are so dramatic. Look straight forward. I'm gonna do a little highlight on the brows with a little shimmery pop. While the mascara is drying, I'm just gonna do a little contour. So I'm actually just taking a darker foundation color. This is also mineral. And just gonna define her cheekbones and jawline. And with contour, you want to just enhance where you have natural shadows on your face. So the sides of the forehead the hollows of the cheeks under the jawline and down the sides of the nose. And that really helps slim the face and give you dimension in photographs and on film because we can look flat on camera. For a little blush, I'm taking Rose Dawn, which is a quad bronzer by Jane Iredale. So this is also mineral. And this will just give a little rosy pop on her cheeks. And we are gonna do some lashes. And I use this Georgie Beauty Adhesive. And this, um, it's a really great adhesive and it's also non-toxic. It's formaldehyde free. I actually, like it better than the duo which is the one that's used by most professional makeup artists when you're applying glue to false lashes you want a very thin where can you see this you yeah, see this yeah. you want a thin strip of glue along the the base of the lashes and then you want it to get tacky so just sort of wave it around and let it get tacky. If, <laughs> if you don't do that, then it'll just slide all around the eyes, your eyes, and mess all your makeup up. I'm just gonna sort of slide these down her lashes. So you want them to really sit on the lash line. And then just sort of press them in and the glue will dry clear, but we'll wanna just go over it just a little bit with some black powder so that it really blends in. And I like to just sort of hold, press the lash into the lash line and hold it there for a second. And it'll stick because sometimes when you place them on, the ends will sort of peel back a little bit and also if you wiggle the lashes around before you apply them, before you put the glue on and then apply them, that'll help them fit to your, your eyelid a little better. So now I'm taking my MAC eyeliner eyebrow brush. I'm just gonna touch up this glue line so it really blends in. And since this is such a dramatic look, we're just gonna stay really neutral on the lips. So I'm using Spice by Jane Iredell. This is a gluten-free lip pencil. And we're just gonna fill in the lips with this color because it's really like the perfect nude. It'll just be great to have this as the base color, and then we'll just add a little pop of shimmer with some gloss. So for the gloss, I'm using NARS, which is also gluten-free. And I'm doing Greek Holiday, which has a little touch of gold in it. So that's gonna just bring together the eyes and the lips really nicely. 
And you can just apply it just in the center. You can apply it all over if you want, but for a little highlight and shimmer, you can have it mostly just in the center and then just sort of lightly blend it out a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little of the black pencil to her waterline. to keep that really dramatic, smoky look. Doing this really sort of completes the dark, smoky look that you want. So that is the finished look.